Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to the legendary ladies prison, which is really, really not doing well. We are having all kinds of problems at the moment. Um, and as a result, uh, we're going into lockdown. We're going we're gonna to close off this. We're going to pull things back from the brink, right? I, I, um, I had a lot of comments on the last video and, you know, normally... I, uh, normally I look through the comments and there were lots of positive comments in there. There were lots of people who said, Hey, this is great. We're enjoying this. This is fun. And then there are a few people who said, dude, come on. Well, there was one. And you know, I know I shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't be bothered by this. I should be just like, you know what? It's fine. Some people can be disappointed in my work, but I'm disappointed too. And as a result, I'm going to fix things. So I've done a little bit of, uh, you know, bit of reading, bit of looking at the comments, bit of research, all that sort of stuff. Uh, these family cells are broken, um, and that's because of the fact that they um, they aren't in the same block. Yep, you guys are right. They need to be separated so that they're in their own little block, their own little wing, so that they're not going to be too close to crazy naked people like Olivia Hoare over here. Um is that how it's pronounced, Olivia? Uh, you, you are overdosing. That's not too great. Okay, so while that's occurring, let's quickly slap these doors in like this. We'll get back to the playmats in a second because they're not entirely necessary. Pop a door here, and then we'll get these materials, brick wall, plopped into there, and there, and come on, boys. Let's go. And there. Blam. Okay, great. So... Those cells should now, once those doors have been fixed, and at the moment it's, you know, enclosed, is broken, but now that, as soon as this door gets knocked through, should be fixed, and then this material block here can go here, and then we can have a, uh, a regular door going into the regular canteen, and Bob's your uncle, right? This kitchen is no longer a thoroughfare, so people can't get a knife on their way out and stab guards, which is why we only have eight guards at the moment. Um, these people, momentarily, once these walls get, uh, get fixed, and this room uh, gets fixed, because there's no one in this room at the moment, so once these two get uh, fixed up, this should kick back into gear, and we're good to go. So, research-wise, we've got some research underway. We've got tax relief and health uh, ticking along at the moment. Security, I'm going to need you to give me uh, one of the other the, the other points that someone said was that you need uh, tasers. And that's going to be jolly expensive, but you're right, I do. I need that sooner rather than later. I also need deployment, and I need dogs, and I need patrols, and I need, but I need armed guards with tasers sooner rather than later. And I'm going to have to figure out where to put those. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to... This is going to be a choppy, changey kind of prison, right? So the first thing we're going to do is start satisfying some staff needs by... Not a common room. I want a staff room. Staff? Staff. Staff room right here, right? We'll pop it there for the time being. We'll get a... I mean, this only needs... Uh, we'll give them a toilet just to satisfy their toileting needs. We need... We've got two wide sofas. So here you go, guys. Nice double wide sofa scenario get a drinks machine in there for them as well. And what we'll see if we can do is uh, keep these staff members relaxed and happy and under control. Uh, and hopefully we can get this. We can we can hold this. We can hold this power slide. We're a hundred mile an hour. We've got dead people all over the place that are dying of overdoses. Um, there's not much that I can do about that yet. Critically, I'm going to need to get... Um, uh, I'm going to need to get some dogs in and around here so that they can sniff out the drugs before these guys get them. But that's okay. For the time being, what we're going to do is just... We'll just concentrate on a few things. We'll concentrate on getting this online because this turned out to be a much, much bigger challenge than what I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's the other thing we need to research. After health, get psychology because we need that for the uh, inmate health and well-being grant. Visitation is close. We just need a common room. And considering these two knobs here aren't big enough to be... And whoever suggested that, I think that was actually in the first video someone pointed this out. These are only three by three. 
They're five by five, including the walls. But uh, yeah, that ain't, that ain't gonna do it. That's not gonna help us out. That's gonna that's gonna be buddy ratchet, mate. So what we're gonna do is we'll knock those in, knock this through, and we'll get a common room set up in here for the girls, right? And that way, at least they've got a place to get uh, get some recreation, uh, have a little bit of a sit down. Natalie has been, you know, injured. She's sitting out here. She wants a shower, but that's okay. We can look after her in a moment. Um, I tell you what. What else do we need? Common room, pool table. Okay, so you boys can get this underway. What have we just researched? I heard something ding. It's health. Excellent. Let's get, uh, let's get our infirmary set up here. Right? There's a light in there already, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to need to get this common room set up here. Right? And we're just going to concentrate on dealing with the prisoners that we currently have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's get some, some, uh, here we go. Medical beds. These are jolly expensive. We're just going to put in one for now. Everyone's going to have to share. They're going to have to bunk up. In this common room, we're going to need a pool table. That's 300 smackers. We're going to need, what else do we need for this grant? Two TVs and five phone booths. You know what? Here's what we're going to do, girls. You can have one. Staff can have the other. Okay, I'm just going to plop that right there. And these staff members can watch that telly. I better connect this toilet. Nah, you know what? Toilet. No, toilet is going to be a necessary uh, thing. We need to, We do need to get this hooked up. So let me just plumb this straight up to here. That'll be fine. I'm, uh, I'm hoping that the guards will be able to let these boys through. It looks like these doors are actually causing us a bit of grief at the moment. We do have one guard who is incapacitated. But that should be fixed when I do this. Bing bong. These guys should get their magical healing beams underway. We've got Vanessa and Captain Cisco looking after these guards, getting them back up and running again, getting them on their feet, getting them ready to deal with these girls and, uh, you know, hopefully get things under control. And I think, I think, I think we can handle this. I think this is something that's doable. You know, it's going to require some temporary placement. Like, I don't want this common room to be here long term. But short term, fine. Short term, this is going to do us the trick. Uh, we need some phone booths. So let's go uh, objects. We'll get some phone booths. How much are they? 300. Cool. We can, we can afford these. We're going to get two of these in here. And we're going to get three of them out in the yard. Because the girls do get yard time. Right? So we'll just dot those around like that. And I tell you what, I've got two spare chairs here. I'm just going to use what I have, plonk those in front of the TV, and that amplifies because it's in the bloom radius. Uh, I don't know if you guys... Um, did I put it out yet? Yeah, the, 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 the next tutorial video that I put out was... Uh, oh, oh, quick. Someone come and get B. B has overdosed. Fairburn does have a shank and is making a run for it. She may be caught. She is escaping, but there are three guys looking uh, looking after capturing her at the moment. So, Fairburn, nice try. Get back to your cell. Get yourself sorted out. Don't misbehave. Uh, and hopefully, someone can go and get AB at the moment. I know she's been a real problem. She's been a, a dangerous prisoner. Not as bad as Drummer. Drummer has basically spent the entire time in solitary. Um... But yeah, AB seems to have been uh, fairly bad as well. I tell you what, I don't want this holding cell being used. So I'm going to go into policy here and I'm going to turn off cell quality and make sure that that's taken care of. Next thing we need, this boy. We need to figure out how our needs are tracking so that we can make sure that our prisoners are getting looked after, that our staff members are getting looked after and, uh, you know, that we're not, we're not dropping the ball right? It shouldn't be too difficult. We just need to find a little, a little corner somewhere here. I suppose I could sneak off a bit at the bottom of this infirmary because the infirmary, like there's only one bed in here. This guy is unconscious. I'm not quite sure how long he's going to stay that way. Uh, the doctors are all out in the field treating people, uh, who keep, you know, injuring themselves by punching doors and such. You know, there's only two doctors and they're doing their best at the moment. There's there's a big backlog of work. A big backlog of, uh, of stuff that needs doing. But uh, hopefully, they'll be able to get through that relatively quickly. Okay, 
Let's get a psychologist set up. And again, we don't want to spend too much money. We want to keep this, you know, relatively... Okay, we've had another death. Was it AB? No, it wasn't. Who was it? Ooh, it's happened somewhere. Is it in here? Yeah, it is. It is AB. Okay. So after she recovered from her overdose, she's gone back to solitary and potentially overdosed again. Um, I guess so. Kind of doesn't... Uh, yeah. 97% chance. Wow. Poor health and security. Untreated drug and alcohol addictions. Gang membership. Oh no, that's just things that that affect that. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. I'm sorry, AB. You didn't make it into the brave new prison that we are trying to construct here. It's going to be sad without you. But, mate, I got my game face on now. I don't know. You guys, you guys are probably used to me being, you know, fairly relaxed about this whole situation. And, oh, lol, I failed. I don't know. <laughs> Most of the time, that's the case. Uh, today, no, no, I'm grumpy now. I am super grumpy now, and I want, I want this to work. So here we go. Watch this. Emergency office. We'll put in. Should we give him a door in this way? I reckon we should. We'll put it. We'll make it a staff door, however. Uh, and we, we, I'll tell you what. We'll make it so that it goes into the infirmary, so he can have an office next to the infirmary. So people have to get through two staff doors if they want to nick his stuff. Uh, which should be, theoretically, relatively difficult. We'll give him a desk, give him a chair. We're going to have to spend $30 on a chair. We do have a spare filing cabinet, which is great. And then staff-wise, whew, a thousand bucks. That is, uh, whew, mate, you better be worth it. You bloody better be worth it. Okay, so, we got that. Fairburn's on her way back to her cell, apparently. Let's see what we can do about checking out some holy dooly. Yeah, right. Family. Warmth. Freedom. Rights. Alright, guys. We got this. We got this. Warmth. I can't see what the intelligence is at the moment, because I need to research that. But I know that this place is going to be cold. And I completely and utterly forgot about it. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to dab in... Just dabby dab dab a few radiators in and around the prison like this. And we're going to have one like here and then one down in this neck of the woods, right? Uh, in the kitchen, it shouldn't need it because of the fact that the kitchen gets, uh, gets heated automatically by um, the cooktops, the stoves. They'll keep them warm. So we'll just dot a couple of these boys around. Let's get some hot water pipes, pipes. Get some poops. Sit up. Suddenly, I am South African. Um, if you are South African, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, it's... I mean, it's it's not meant to be offensive. Uh, it, it's, you know... It's, I, I, have, I have a problem. I have a problem. Uh, one of my colleagues is South African. And we joke by mocking each other for our... Um, for our horrible languages, our horrible accents, I should say. Horrible? That's probably not the... That's, we're probably getting worse here. Uh, I, I joke about by mocking his South African accent, and he then busts out an extremely ocker, uh, Yeah, g'day, mate. Here's a fucking guy. Um, so, yep, look, just old habits, right? Old habits. But I do like the South African accent. There's something about it that's kind of... Kind of lyrical. There's like a, a lilting quality to it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. A lot of people think it's a bit... I don't know. A bit sort of odd and a little bit uh, a little bit jarring. But I don't know. There's something about it that I, I enjoy. I quite enjoy. Alright. So, we've got those radiators planned out. Um, the boys are having difficulties um, getting to them. And then we've got, you know, people like... This broad here, Natalie Lee, she is just an utter danger at the moment. Um, and she's going to get herself put straight back into solitary every time I look at her. Or is it drummer? I think it's drummer. I think it's drummer. She's just constantly in lockup. Um, did I check? 
I did. I fixed that. Right. Never mind. Okay. Get myself. Get myself all confused. Look, she's totally stark naked, making a run for it. She's gonna make it through this door. She's gonna make it through this door. She's gonna make it through all of these doors because they're all just jacked right open. There you go. She's been stopped, but she did at least pick up a uniform. No, she's changed her mind. Uniforms come off again, and she has been grabbed by this guard. She now needs a pee. All that excitement was so much that she now needs a little bit of a wee. She has done it uh, basically on the front door. She's just cocked her leg and uh, marked her territory. So uh, according to um, according to, to tradition, she now owns this prison. Or at least I think that's how it works. I don't know. I'm, I'm a dog owner, so maybe I'm getting confused. Uh, right. Let's get these double checked. Okay, so this one needs a pipe. Not there, though. That one needs a pipe there. Any other ones missing a pipe? Oh, and by the way, yeah, if you hook two boilers up like this and they're on the same loop, this one comes down and you can see the direction of the, f the water flow going this way, right? And it'll keep going until it meets the flow from the other one. And then they'll both converge in the center there. So you can actually have multiple, uh, so multiple boilers feeding into one network and then they'll just cover that whole thing. Um, yeah. Which is handy. It'll just sort of go halfway between the two. Same goes with uh, with small pipes. Um, when you feed those into places, oh good, uh, they will they will double up and, and touch each other uh, appropriately. Now that my friends is starting to look not too bad. It's starting to look not too bad. I reckon. I mean, we are running at level one speed here at the moment, but I reckon if we look in here, right. Freedom, family. Good. Freedom and family are things we need to fix. Let's check the regime. Right. Here's our problem. Work free... Uh, yeah, work free time. That's fine. We'll just change this all out to work free time. This can go out to work free time. I like to shift these up, but I'm going to wait until uh, we, we pass through eat time into yard time. And then I'll shift them up that way. So 247, can we speed up? We'll go up to three speed, right? We're into yard time now. And then we're going to have a four hour work free time there. This is a relatively simple. We still got escapes going on. Bloody Fairburn again. She needs to be sorted out. She needs like some kind of leg manacles permanently attached to her. Okay, so we now have free time. We now have some things going on that are going to help us to tame this place down. We've got an armory uh, researched. We've got tasers on the way. Warden, what can you get underway for us? Education, I'm really not caring about. Cleaning, probably not a huge, um, you know, a huge benefit to getting that. It'd be nice. Is it going to help with the needs? Let's have a look. What are we? Sleep? Fine. Family, that's getting satisfied. We've got some phone booths doing their thing. Is there some visitation going on at the same time? There is not. Do we have anyone wanting visitation? We do not. That's very strange. But the phone booths are doing their thing. So that's fine. Environment. What's this? Dirty conditions. Right. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's get some cleaning underway. Very simple. You know, it's not going to be... It's not a huge thing. It's, it's not a big thing that's going to help. But... Uh, I mean, it's not a, a big thing to get it done, I should say. Turner, mate, what are you doing? Breaking a door. You're just costing me money for repairs here. Bloody hell. Right. Let's get a let's get a, a room set up here. Right? Just plonk that there like that. We'll get a little door on it. And we'll change this into a, uh, a cleaning cupboard. Oop. Oh, no, that's right. We've got to wait for cleaning to finish, haven't we? <laughs> uh, five hours to go. All right, let's see. How's Turner going? All right, so we've got some people getting bumped up to max sec here. Turner, getting injured. She is worried. See? Environment. There you go. She's worried about the environment. That's good. That's good. We're getting on top of the needs. We're doing it. We're getting it, guys. Oh, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get excited about this. I was really worried before. I was really worried that this was going to just turn into an absolute fuster cluck. But it seems that we have been... Uh, jeepers. 
Jeepers. Boys, lay off of her. Hang on, what's going on here? They're just beating her. What the heck? Guys, seriously, what's going on? Could you, um, like, back off? There we go. Did you see that? They were just beating the stuffing out of her. The doctors were, like, running in with the magical healing beams, making sure that she wasn't dying. Off you go, Lee. Good on you, mate. Back to your cell. I don't know how you're managing to walk around with manacles on, but that's okay. Yeah, look at how filthy these freaking cells are. Mate, that is, that is fairly... Oops. Yeah, fairly disgusting. All right, so let's get this brick wall stuck in. No, that is, it is scheduled to be done, so it's fine. Um, let's get our cleaning researched up. We'll skim through, get cleaning done. Oh, we're going to get tax relief as well. Oh my God, this is going to help us so much. Watch this when this ticks over, right? Current earnings, 97. Let's look at finance, right? Corporation taxes, 125. Actually, it won't help us that much. It's now down to 15%. So it does help us a little bit, but not much. Not much. Uh, it's the days without incident that's kind of, um, kind of mucking us up at the moment. All right. Rooms, cleaning cupboard. Donk, uh, we're, we're going to need deployment as well because I'd like to get these girls in there and doing their thing, which means we also need prison labor. So we have to get into there to get deployment. Uh, sorry, it's logistics, isn't it? Ah, bugger it. We need, we need deployment anyway. Right, staff, let's get two janitors to get us started. These boys can get out there and get mopping. And when the girls are ready to uh, to take up some, some work of their own, we'll put them to work. We can stick them in the kitchen, get some work going on there. And we can stick them in the cleaning cupboard, get them mopping floors. And hopefully, Natalie Lee, what do you need? Family and freedom. How can I provide you with family and freedom? How can I provide you with family and freedom when all you want to do is just cause havoc? And how did you get a bat? <sighs> All right, shake down. I've just realized we've lost another two guards, which is not great. And I've just realized that a shakedown is just utterly not something that we can sustain at the moment. And Turner is getting the shit kicked out of her. Come on, mate. That, that little bug happened again where the guard was just constantly punching them. These guards, they're pissed off. What do you need? Bladder, bowels, food, recreation, car. Okay, food. We need food for the guards. Right. That's easy to... That is easy to fix. Let's just go. Objects, serving table, right? Right here behind the TV. Actually, we'll rotate it this way so they can walk up to the front of it, grab a sandwich, and go and sit down in the wide sofa. How are you doing? Food and environment. Yep. Okay. So he's fully rested and he's had access to a toilet. So it looks like when these janitors go through and do a, uh, a clean sweep. No, okay, I won't do that. When they go through and get this place a little bit cleaner. Mate, drama, off you go. Go on. There you go. Through one. Go for the second. We've had two escapes. They're going to be the worst offenders though, right? Theoretically, the worst offenders are leaving at the moment. But we do have negative $258 dollar-y-dos. Oh, we're going to have to intake. We're going to have to intake. Let's just fill capacity. All right, we're going to pull 12 people in next morning. And that should give us an injection of 6,000. But more importantly, because they're medsec, it should then give us... Uh, what? How much do they provide? Um, medsec. So it's 300, but then they provide a daily... A daily buff as well. And I can't remember exactly how much that is. Because like the prisoner grant here is thirteen fifty. We need more. We need more to keep our cash flow above zero. And like staff food. God damn it. How much how much do bananas cost? Seriously? How you doing, love? You having some rest? Good. The environment is getting better. I want you to feel better about this. Look, this guy's mopping the floor for you. Is your environment decreasing? I wish I had um, access to the cheat menu in standard mode. I'd be able to see very clearly what they're, um, what they're complaining about and what they're refreshing. So she's on break, which means she's fulfilling her rest need. 
She's not going to grab any food today, though. That's fine. We'll come back to that. We'll figure that one out later on. Good. Okay. I think we've uh, I think we've taken a bit of a turn on this one. I think we've pulled this back from the brink. We do still have a few naughty people, but I think we've got this uh, starting to come under control. And uh, I'm not going to underestimate these ladies again. You can be damn well sure of that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build up from here because I think we need to get some more, like we need to reshuffle this and have a larger area for like the armory and a few other things like that. And then up here, we're going to have a new wing, which is going to be tighter and it's going to be higher security and it's going to be for the MaxSec people that do not behave in this zone. As soon as you go red, you're going to go up into here and it's going to be a bit rougher, a bit tighter, and it's going to be tougher to get out of. That's the plan. That's what we're currently working with. That's where we're going. All right, friends. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this slightly more serious than usual prison architect. But uh, yeah, if you did, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Um, subscribe if you're not. Tune in next time. I'll catch you all then. See you guys.